This channel is focused on anime, but you know, I also read a little bit of manga here and there. And of course, I want to start doing like manga reviews. I feel like that would be like a nice little change uh, for the channel. And we'll see how it goes. But we're going to be focusing on stuff like My Hero Academia, Black Clover, and One Piece. We might add Jujutsu Kaisen on there. And honestly, a little bit of Mashal as well. I just have to catch up to all those mangas before I can start, you know, kind of making weekly videos on it. But let's go ahead and start with My Hero Academia because this chapter was absolutely great. Uh, we got to see the conclusion between Shigaraki and Star and Stripe and it was an awesome fight and I gotta you know I gotta tell you what I think about this fight right I do think this fight especially with how it ended with uh, you know Star and Stripe essentially giving a new order with her quirk that you know it would revolt against other quirks right like all the quirks that Shigaraki had inside of them kind of like you know uh, all for one so we see that essentially Star and Stripe is manifesting inside of Shigaraki and kind of going against all the other quirks and essentially nerfing shigaraki in a way because i gotta tell you uh, and maybe it's just my own ignorance when it comes to uh, shigaraki's quirk we know his quirk is decay and whenever he touches somebody with you know his five fingers or whatever it, it's gonna start decaying but i was under the impression that shigaraki kind of evolved his quirk to the point where he no longer needed to touch uh, to touch you in order to make you decay uh, of course in this fight you know Shigaraki's main goal was to steal new order so that's why he had to touch her I understand that but you know I always felt like Shigaraki is going to be way too OP I honestly don't see how Deku and the class uh, of you know 1a is going to deal with Shigaraki because honestly I feel like if unless Aizawa is there using his quirk there is no way that they're going to stop him right and if his decay quirk doesn't even have to touch you anymore he can just do it from a distance how is Deku going to fight that right so I'm guessing this is a, a nice way to do it maybe Deku has one of the other quirks from the uh, all, uh, one for all users that will be able to counter that but I honestly do think that this is a good thing for Shigaraki because I feel like he was getting way too OP so the fact that you know uh, Star and Stripe was able to get in there and essentially shut down the quirk it's absolutely great now i do want to say i do feel like the introduction of star and stripe it was honestly just to show how strong shigaraki is and on top of that kind of be like a sacrificial pawn right maybe to to set the stakes very high so people will know that shigaraki he means business right he's here to take lives and name uh, overall the chapter it was really good we got the conclusion i'm definitely excited to see where this is headed but i am a little worrisome because again i feel like shigaraki is just way too op he's gonna have to offload the new order quirk somewhere uh, i don't know on who it will have to be somebody that's quirkless right because if he unloads that quirk into somebody that has already Ready a quirk then the order is going to execute essentially revolting against the other person's quirk and honestly i only feel like shigaraki is the only one that's capable of dealing with that because of his uh, uh you know healing factor and stuff like that but yes overall a great chapter now moving on to black clover now this chapter i gotta tell you i feel like nothing happened really like nothing uh exciting nothing big happened but we did get to see a little flashback between yami uh you know as to the reason why he created the black bull and you know he wanted a, a home for all the outcasts of the clover kingdom and it's uh, it's awesome right it's awesome to see that but it's also sad right the fact that yami had to create uh you know this this whole uh uh mage uh magic knight guild or whatever they call them right that the reason why he had to create that is so he can you know bring people in that don't have a home don't have a place to be uh again the outcast of the clover kingdom that that's sad in itself right because we know the clover kingdom has a huge problem when it comes to like the nobles and the commoners they treat them like pests uh, it's really it's really insane right so i'm glad that captain yami was able to do that but we do have to talk about the elephant in the room right we know black clover is kind of like you know they're notorious for the plot armor i mean i don't believe anybody has died in black clover at all since like chapter one i could be wrong i could be wrong uh but yeah the fact that you know we had the flashback of yami and you know we had all the black bulls telling captain yami that they love him and of course captain yami saying you know i love you guys too and all that stuff gotta tell you that to me feels like an ending now it could be that they're just trying to do you know a switcheroo where they're trying to make us the readers believe that you know yami is gonna be leaving us he's gonna be dying 
Uh, and then, you know, next chapter, boom, he gets rescued by everybody. Oh, the whole Black Bulls are going to show up, you know? And, and, and I love it, right? I, that's one of the reasons why I love this chapter as well, is because, you know, seeing that flashback of how the Black Bulls were introduced, seeing Noct, of course, acknowledging, you know, having respect for all the Black Bulls and stuff like that. It's kind of like a family, right? And, and, and I love that. But again, it's just raising red flags for Yami and his death. Hopefully I'm wrong because I do like Captain Yami, but it would be cool to see a death in the series, especially if it's Captain Yami, because let's be real, Captain Yami is like the, you know, the pillar that holds the Black Bulls together, right? He's the one that got all these little outcasts, if you want to call them, uh, to be a family. And if he was to die, I feel sorry for whoever is responsible for that because there is no way they're going to get out of here uh, safe, okay? So we'll see uh now next we got one piece and of course we have the big fights going on we're getting into like the end of one oh it feels like we got of course this chapter focus on law and kid versus big mom and you know that fight i want to see it but you know i've always seen this argument right especially on tiktok and stuff like that where essentially people are saying you know luffy his yonko level and i i just don't feel that way right because let's be real if big mom were to fight kaido it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one fight and you know luffy is fighting kaido right now one-on-one -on -one. but let's be real the, uh, the seven samurais or whatever they had it they had a little round with uh kaido and you know he was hurt in there then yamato also had a round with kaido so again it, it's just not like a fair one-to-one -one fight so that's the only reason why i don't believe or think that luffy is uh Yonko level not yet right maybe maybe in the next arc he'll get to that level but until he can take on a a Yonko one versus one i just don't think he he will be Yonko level but you know this chapter really didn't focus too much on luffy at all uh, it was more just again about luffy i mean not luffy uh you know uh sanji and zoro uh they're fighting you know king and queen and of course that fight is there that's that's what they do right this is like the the most powerful trio in the straw hat so you know those fights are going to go down but i really want to talk about sanji right because he's having a little uh what, what would you call it family trauma we know with the germa suits you know he would supposedly he hit a woman and stuff like that that's that's not that's not good that's definitely out of sanji's character and him kind of putting in the options right either to use the germa suit in order to you know become powerful and being able to handle queen and you know of course it's gonna help help out luffy but does does will luffy want that right that's the question will luffy want sanji to become an emotionless uh person we all know that's not the case we know that you know luffy wants sanji to be the human that he is the cook that he is to keep his emotions intact so the fact that he destroyed the little pod absolutely great so that means he's not going to be using that transformation anymore he's not going to depend on his father's technology now, obviously that's a little growth for his character and i cannot wait to see because he's definitely going to get stronger right he's definitely going to overcome the fight against queen and i can't wait to see how that's going to happen and of course we have to talk about the whole sanji and zoro interaction because uh personally and this is the way i feel like i know sanji and zoro are always kind of giving each other crap uh but i feel like at the end of the day they're really like close friends right and the fact that sanji is asking zoro to take him out if he's if he seems out of place out of mind uh we all know what that means right like if he's willing to hurt women and stuff like that you know zoro is gonna take him out now i don't think that's gonna happen at all but uh we'll see right we'll see you never know what oda is going to do but yeah i'm really excited to see the next chapter of one piece as well overall if i have to choose which one was my favorite i'm gonna have to go with doc uh I was dr stone <laughs> i'm not cut up yet uh but i was gonna say my hero academia again seeing star and stripe go being uh, you know she sacrificed herself at the very least to her shigaraki and all the quirks that he has it was awesome i feel like this chapter was definitely the most impactful one but let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite uh, chapter of the week and like always make sure to leave a like subscribe and i will see you on the next chapter or yeah that guess that i guess we're gonna do that peace out boom <laughs>